what's going on everyone welcome back to the channel hope you're having a wonderful day it's time to do some maintenance on the x5 and the list has grown a lot of things that we need to address on the x5 so over the next few days i'm gonna making several videos on how to maintain this vehicle properly and address all the issues so if you do own x5 especially the diesel version i urge you to stick around to get some tips how to properly maintain this uh, vehicle first thing that we're going to address in this video is the replacement of the fuel filter for the diesel model this is one of the crucial maintenance items on this car that needs to be regularly changed the reason being is the quality of diesel fuel in the u.s is not the cleanest and these filters clog up really quick they need to be changed anywhere from 25 to 30 thousand miles in order for to have the system running efficiently and reliably the reason being is if one of these filters fails and sends particles up to your high pressure fuel pump it will destroy the fuel pump when that happens you will have to replace the fuel pump itself which is a couple thousand dollars and the, all the fuel lines so it's a major pain and this is a cheap insurance making sure that your diesel engine runs reliably the filter itself is not very expensive it's around forty dollars i got my fcp euro this way my future filters are covered under warranty with that being said let's see what's needed to complete replacement of this filter there's actually two ways of completing this procedure i'm gonna give you the easier way which require less tools and it's overall a little bit quicker first what you need to do is raise the vehicle in order to have ample room to work under the car remember the higher you could get the car the less headache and the easier the job becomes any type of uh, DIYs this being an SUV you don't need to raise it as high as for example regular car because it's pretty high off the ground so my weapon of choice was the ramps in the back and in the front not many people know about this but there's actually a jacking point right in the middle I'm not sure you could see right in between those two screws there's a hidden jacking point where you could raise the front of the car in the middle raising both wheels so uh, it makes the job a lot easier than jacking it from the side and this gives you more than enough clearance to complete this procedure now the filter itself is located right under the driver compartment on the left side right in this area so let's see what kind of tools we need in order to complete this replacement one of the first things which you have to remove when you're under the car is remove this panel right under the driver door it's pretty long it starts right here and it goes to about here and it's secured by 10 millimeter nuts and eight millimeter screws and obviously i would advise to put a jack stand just to just as a security should your jack fail after you remove the middle pen this is where the job will become messy so i urge you to wear gloves otherwise you'll be smelling like diesel for days if you don't want the ground to get any uh, stains i would highly urge to put some cardboard below your obviously your uh, your drain pan because there will be some diesel that we're going to be draining from the lines now your filter itself is located right here in this vicinity it's held by two 10 uh, millimeter bolts and uh, this is the line we're going to be disconnecting first 
and you have these two clamps on it I did this job a couple few times already so this clamp is aftermarket otherwise you if you're doing this first time you'll have this style clamp which will you'll have to destroy and get this kind of reusable clamp for the future so first you need to uh, remove the uh, the clamp and drain the fuel from the side unbolt the uh, the clamp so you have this style already You might have to get some pliers to get the hose a little bit loose because you might get, get stuck and try to pull it out. There will be some diesel that will be spraying out so watch out. Get undo the the line from here as you can see there's just a little bit of diesel coming out not too bad after the diesel is drained what you want to do is get one of these bags and put it right over it reason being is you don't want any particles getting into the uh the system just as a safety precaution and you can move the line to the side next you want to remove the 10 millimeter bolts that secure the uh, filter in place these brackets just, it will just come off because they slide into those slots right here and now we have the filter free of, uh, of any bracket there's this foam piece here which kind of undo and uh, have the filter basically hang loose now on this side we have this clip this is the heater element this heats up the fuel in uh, an extreme cold weather so what you need to do is just basically pop it off like this and it will come off you can help yourself with a screwdriver like so and the filter should basically come off and there it is we have the filter off the car you could rest this in this foam piece so it does not drip on you and you could go ahead and get the replacement filter once you have your new filter in hand make sure that you have this seal at the end here there's a seal right there and this seal likes to fall off so make sure you it's there and now you can grab your heating element and we could uh, mount the filter in place there's a little notch try to line it up and uh, should slide right in so you could see the uh, the grooves where you could slide in the pin and the pin goes the same way it came out like this so this side you're basically done now before you uh, mount the actual fir filter i forgot to mention earlier make sure you transfer these rubber rings from your old filter they're basically a cushion for the uh for the brackets that you that hold the filter in place like so make sure you transfer them so the filter is not loose let's reinsert the 10 millimeter screw and uh, we all set on this side i'm not sure what the torque spec on those bolts are but you don't have to manhandle them They're basically uh, this is basically going to a plastic piece so be very conservative they don't have to be extra tight now next step before we hook up the front line is uh, totally optional is to prime the the f fuel filter now uh for that you will need an isda software which i do have access to but i'm not gonna do it because it's totally unnecessary priming the uh the system is done so there's no excessive cranking after you hook up the line which uh, 
plenty of times before I have performed this uh, this replacement it only cranked maybe a couple of times more is not is not anything uh, excessive and if you do prime a system prime the system you will need this line disconnected that way the fuel pump will pump diesel through the whole line and uh, will probably dump around a liter of diesel into your your drain pan but like i mentioned that's totally optional and uh, that i don't see a point of it it's just a waste of time and it's a it's a mess yeah i know dealers don't even perform this uh, procedure so it's totally unnecessary with that being said we're gonna move on to hook up the uh, front of the line hookup of the front line is self-explanatory you want to take off the cap that's that comes on the new filter and you want to take your ziplock bag uh, and off the hose and all you do is just slide it on and that's pretty much it uh, tighten your um your hose clamp we can go inside the vehicle and uh, start the car make sure everything is fine and there's no leaks all right let's get inside the car and and perform the first start after the fuel replacement and you'll see for yourself how long does it take to uh to start the vehicle but press the foot on the brake and press the start button see it literally took like not even five seconds and uh the, the system is primed so there's no really really no reason to perform this this priming procedure it's just time consuming and it's a real mess after the car has been running for a couple minutes check for any possible leaks which there shouldn't be any where once there isn't any all you have to do is just put the the cover back on and uh, we're done and that's how easy it is to change your diesel fuel filter on your x5 now don't stress about priming the system after you replace the the filter as you saw the startup only takes about two to three seconds and it was mainly the procedure was mainly designed for if the car should um, should crank for, for a long time just to uh, save the high pressure fuel pump uh, up front but uh, it's really not needed because the car does not crank nine out of ten times it only take it two three seconds the most to start the car so that's that step is totally optional now i'm going to be making a whole series of videos on the maintenance on the x5 since there's quite a few items i need to take care of next one being is the front diff oil so stay tuned for that video and again thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe give a like comment down below and i'll catch you on the next one peace